Father, in Jesus' name, I thank you for this day as I share your word. Use me as a vessel, anoint your word so that it can come with authority and power to meet your people at the very point of their needs and at the level of their understanding. In Jesus' name, amen. My name is Florence Miner, welcoming you to yet another time of celebrating a moment of joy. The title of my message will be Despise Them Not. As I've been sharing about respecting the servant of God, I would like us to continue and focus on different reference verses so that we can be enlightened. There is nothing good good like when you get this knowledge that gets you out of that box where you have been for many years without knowing and little knowledge can be dangerous david after the ark of the covenant came to jerusalem he rejoiced he danced to the Lord until his clothes fell off, which was embarrassing realistically as a king. But David had realized the secret of dancing to the king of kings without reservation. Yes, he put his status aside. Can you put your status aside so that you can worship God? And you are there and you see that people have been called to worship God or to serve God doing whatever they have been called to. Do not despise them, let you, lest you find yourself in trouble. I'm going to read the second uh, Samuel chapter 6. I would encourage you to read the entire chapter, but I'm going to read verse 20, 20 to 23. When David returned home to bless his household, Mitchell, daughter of Saul, came out to meet him and said, How the king of Israel has distinguished himself today, going around half naked in full fear of the, the slave girls of his servants as any father Pharaoh would do. David said to Mitchell, it was before the Lord who chose me rather than your father or anyone from his house when he appointed me ruler over the Lord's people Israel. I will celebrate the Lord. I will become even more undignified than this and I will be humiliated in my own eyes. But by these slave girls you spoke of, I'll be held in honor. And Mitchell, daughter of Saul, had no children to the day of her death. You see, uh, Mitchell suffered uh, and he was struck with barrenness because of despising the servants of God, the servant of God, David, just because he, she saw her half naked for sure. That was embarrassing. Yeah, there are things that we, the servants of God can do. There are things on your court to, by God to do that can be embarrassing because they don't match up with your position. They don't match up with your color. They don't match up oh, with who you are. They don't match up with the, your credentials. But you know what? Once you realize it is the king of kings and the lord of lords, that makes all the difference. And no wonder the singer sang and said, I surrender all. I give myself away. Where are you at when you see the servants of God? When you see somebody doing what they have been called to, do you go ahead and criticize and say, what do they think they are? What are they doing? They are embarrassing themselves in the media, in whatever, dancing in the crowd where the, the students are there and that this is the principal of the school, the CEO of the company. Can you imagine? David was a king. He danced to the Lord. And just because somebody despised so was it was embarrassing. She was struck by barrenness. I pray that you may not suffer such for not knowing. That's why I am. I feel persuaded to share with you so that if you have done it in the past, it's okay because the masses of God are new every morning. As long as you confess, you do not even need to go to apologize to the person you've been despising if you honestly uh, repent before God. He is merciful. If we confess our sins, he is faithful to forgive us. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, help us to come out of the box of ignorance where we have not known and we have made the mess. Help us, oh God, including myself. Let your Holy Spirit remind us where we might have despised your servant without knowing. Those we live with, those we work with, those we worship with. In Jesus' name, amen. May the Lord bless you. If there is any messages I want you to share with as many people as you can that I cannot reach, it is such that we can get people out of the box of ignorance. I would also want to encourage you to subscribe to this channel. That way you do not miss any of the messages and continue to share them. May the Lord bless you.